guys, Dan Sparrow here and welcome back for another episode of Resident Rise 3. This is episode 12 I think and today what we're going to do, as you can see I've started work in our lovely sorting facility sort of place. Um, it's not that big but pretty much it's just going to be a lot of barrels with all our ores and stuff in here. There's not going to be much excitement going on here. I might do a wee bit of decoration later on but for, for the meantime we have 14 better barrels which I am going to sort out right now. I'm going to put down and I'm going to um, put some of our ores into it because we're getting over encumbered with a ton of ores and dusts and stuff so we're going to do all that there and what I'm going to do is I'm actually some of these dusts that I have up here I'm going to put like I can through the redstone furnace because I can um, get rid of it all but what I'm going to do is going to clear some of this out oh, no space whatsoever in my infantry so I'm going to need to get rid of some of this stuff get rid of the iron, what have we got iron? silver we're going to do silver osmium right we'll go on to put some of this stuff now this is just going to be an episode of pretty much sorting out our um, resources and stuff so iron you're going to go there um, let's see osmium you're going to go above it three stacks of 64 silver you're gonna go right here I'm gonna try and get all the main ones out first and then we'll go on to the all the other uh, weird ones like sink and stuff that we're not really going to use because there's no really there's no point in using it there's no point in using um I'll put the manganese dust in there just for the meantime because um, you can't really make anything with it so it's pointless so what's this? I've got aluminium. I'm gonna put here. Uh, do you have any more silver? I do. What's this? Tin. I'm gonna put tin up here. It's hard to tell now with the the colours, so I'm gonna obviously have to um put um the the hood on this here to, to, to say what's in them but we should get used to it right and easy what's the next one laid there we go so we've got quite a few already in there um, we're gonna go and get the rest of the stuff we're gonna start moving all the stuff into our um, well the majority hopefully the majority of this stuff we can maybe move into um, these barrels um, just to get out of our uh, system so it's a lot easier to store what I was going to do actually what's this, this is your Elorium um, Osmium, I've got Osmium as well I've got Lead as well and Zinc, this is the Zinc one I'm going to put it down here even though we don't need it there we go, get rid of it, oh and Copper we need to get Copper in here as well so there we go. So next one's going. We'll get redstone, coal, and diamond. Hopefully to be the other ones, and we'll have mostly the main ones that we're going to be using. What I might do is might do another doorway actually down here into our um, lovely factory. I might actually cut a hole in it. Like do it down here. Do it from here maybe. I'd have to see if I dig this wall out at the end of these barrels. Hang. I have to see where this leads. Yeah, so we could do like a bridge down here. So it's just easier access to get into the factory. And then do barrels along the floors and stuff. I was what I'll probably do is not probably put a window there. I'll just probably do more barrels and whatnot. So let's see what we get. We get diamonds and diamonds, redstone and coal. Let's see anything else in here? Nope. We'll sort of dust. We'll sort the dust out in a moment. What's this here? What other dust do I have up here? Lead. You can do the lead because don't really need lead dust at the moment. Right. So let's see. What do we need? We can lift out more iron. We'll get all our iron if we can. F iron, iron. Uh, osmium. We'll get osmium because it's there as well. Quite a lot of osmium. Um, there's more iron. Any more iron about the place? 
steel or steel or iron and there's iron there as well um put that in there right so we're just going to clear this out which is going to be excellent um i'll obviously finish this we building off off camera um i've just really done it sort of start getting some of our stuff away some of our um precious ores and then once we'll have a wee opening where that third part is just down to the factory we'll have a double entrance just to make so it's short and we'll have to flip and go halfway around the compound just to get flipping ores which would be a bit of pain in the butt right um what's this steel we'll leave the steel in all at the moment we need silver there's tin tin silver lead how many more lead about the place there's gold there's got to be more than that gold surely Gold dust, gold dust. Um, yellow rim. Right, okay, so we get more stuff in here. We should have at least six stacks of probably each of them. I would say. Uh, tin, silver, yellow rim. What was the other one? Lead and gold. I actually don't have that much gold. I thought we had more gold than that, but clearly not. I'll have to sort that out. But I'm hoping this here other, as I say, before we do this here, this other quarry has finished as well. So there's just a bunch of stuff in this here that needs to be took out as well. So this quarry is now finished as well. So we have three quarries that are all been finished. What we're going to hope to do is maybe get a fourth one on the go and maybe start putting in for the digital miner I'll probably start doing that the likes maybe oh that's steel I'll need two things for it redstone go need redstone there's buttload of redstone and diamonds don't have that much diamonds and um, hopefully put in for um another I right, get in for the digital miner but we're gonna have to do a lot of uh um digging and mining for it because we need quite a few bits of diamond we've only got six and i don't think six will be enough i think we're going to have to have a lot more so let's see what else we've got yellow rim aluminium zinc zinc yellow rim aluminium steel oh, can't take the steel yet because I don't have enough coal I suppose we could start taking coal put you in there copper anything else any other bars graphite I don't have enough for it at the moment dark steel I keep lifting the steel don't really want to lift the steel where is it right so our main ores are actually getting rid of out of this here um thing which is good so I've got copper I've got a ton of yellow rain what else do you have zinc there's a ton of zinc coal I don't have one for coal yet do now. Uh, there we go. Four. We've got four stacks of coal. And what's aluminium? Is this one here? We've got quite a lot of aluminium as well. So like these are the main ores that you use. There's a space here, so I don't know where I'm going to put the space. I might put lapis in there, just because I have it. And they're like the main basic um, stuff that we'll probably be using. I've got need some for obsidian, and obviously there's more coal, lapis more redstone quartz and all I'll need to make one for quartz and graphite and sulfur and all that dark caper I'll need to make stuff for that and steel there's two different types of steel there's metallurgy and there's flipping mechanism so there's still quite a few barrels we're going to need obviously but if we get the main ones done that's fine and then maybe we'll sleep and we'll try to start making more barrels I think So I've got that there, and you've got redstone. Got nine stacks of redstone. So do which is unreal. Right, so I need to go to sleep, and then we'll see if there's trees popping up, which is good. We can go and get some. We can go and get some. Uh, more wood to make more barrels. So let's see if we'll do this here. this out use the lumber axe to take the wood down 
Barrels are pretty simple to make, and you can make upgrades for them too, which I like. You can like upgrade them. They include so much stacks. They're so it's it's so handy for um storing items in. There is other ways I think, but I think better barrels or Java barrels are actually probably the best in, in this mod pack. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, please correct me if I am wrong, because I probably am wrong. But I just like using the better barrels or the Java barrels, should I say, because um. They're not that hard to make, and also, they, like I said, they do store a lot of uh, resources in it, um, especially if you're going to get, ooh, what's in there? Um, if you're going to be using the likes of a digital miner and stuff, you can upgrade them, which is good. So, we'll get these trees down, cut these trees down. This should be enough. Keep up the apple tree there. I was going to attempt to cut that tree down, but I know for a fact this stone axe would not be able to cut that whole thing down. I could be proven wrong. I might give it a try. So, as you can see, I have stuff in here already because I was making them. So, pretty much, that's what a, a barrel consists of: uh, log or wooden logs, chests, and then slabs. Doesn't matter. You can make spruce with oak. Doesn't matter. You still make the same better barrels. And there we have six more barrels, which is going to be handy. I'm going to start maybe putting them on this other side of the wall because. Um, There's a few things that we can put in these here that we don't need, or that aren't really uh, fundamental for what we're going to use, like the likes of these graphite graphite bars. We might need them later on, but we don't need them at the moment. Redstone alloy, thorium and good dark steel. Obviously, the steel as well. There's coal, and the likes of these here shards. We're not going to really use those shards at this moment in time because we don't. We're not going to delve into thorncraft at the moment. So we we'll have graphite. Um, dark steel, uh, redstone alloy, which we alloy, alloy, redstone alloy, which we don't need. Thomian ingots, which we don't. Oh God, it's a bit glitched the picture there. Steel with and our two steel ones. Now, obviously, we're going to be using our steel, but um, at the moment we don't need it. So there we go. So we've got six. The, the thorium ingot one's a bit glitched out, but sure. I'm going to put glass here so we can have a wee bit of a view. It's not just all plain and boring. Um, but I'm going to put more around here and around the bottom and then up this here. And what I might do ex eventually is maybe do an upstairs if I need more or a basement. Like do stairs down or something. Maybe for a basement. I suppose I could do that actually. Like do a basement. Cut this bit out. And have storage going down and then have more storage. That'd be pretty cool. I'll see. I'll actually see. Might do it like that. But these are pretty much this is pretty much what our storage is gonna consist of. So it's gonna be all our barrels in there with everything in it. Now normally I would have um an item duct with a chest and pretty much what I would do is the chest would um you put all the alloys in a chest, say say for instance the chest is here and the item duct goes in there. You put all the stuff, all your, all your materials in the chest and it will automatically be filtered into eight, their individual and respective barrels. But because um, because I can't do that with this one at the moment because I'm trying to figure out why the item ducts don't work. Um, it's pretty much uh, touch and go. So don't know what's going to happen there. So I'm, I'm going to do things manually. I'm going to put a roof on this here. It's going to be the size of I'm going to put a roof on it when I probably wouldn't finish this episode. And probably what I might do is cut a hole in the floor. Like do two. Cut a hole in the floor. And do like a basement. The stairs going down actually. I might do stairs going down. Maybe this corner or something. But I'll see anyway. What's going to happen? But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Say so this wasn't a very exciting episode. We're just pretty much doing a wee bit of home improvement and rearrangement. But now that you see, we've got a lot of stuff. So if we need any materials, we know where to go. We just need to go to the respective barrels and click on them to get them out, which is a lot easier. So it is, and a lot, a lot say a lot better as well for storage and stuff. So I hope you please hope you like the episode. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Like I said, hope you're enjoying the series. It is. I am enjoying it. It's pretty fun. Um, like I said, some of these mods I'm new to, some of them I'm pretty familiar with. But hopefully next episode what we're going to do is hopefully I'll have this here building complete 
with the majority of my stuff in it and what we're going to try and do is maybe possibly make a digital miner instead of having used these quarries all the time um, so hopefully that will be the next episode so until then hope you have a nice day and bye for now